Hey guys, a quick and more casual video today. No real editing or anything like that. This one's just gonna be a straight up discussion. Thumb pick versus regular pick. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I really think is the best thing to do, uh, but I wanna give you some examples to decide from yourself as well. Uh, I made a video talking about how to approach single lines with the thumb pick. And uh, that, that, that video sort of, uh, you know, gives you a breakdown on how to use your thumb and finger in practice and using some patterns and scales to build that up. So um, that's really worth checking out. And that's kind of led to this discussion. Um, what I'm going to do is play some Chet stuff, some of my own stuff in that style, bit of a shameless plug. Then I'll play some single line stuff um, and I'll switch between a thumb pick and a flat pick. Okay, so let's start with the thumb pick playing some Chet stuff. We'll do Everybody Likes This One. <laughs> All right, let's jump over to the flat pick. So we're doing a hybrid picking style. See if you can hear a difference. Whoa. thumb pick i'm gonna play a track of my homemade space machine album check it out it's it's good fun if you like this sort of stuff it's yeah it's um just a travis picking album with all kinds of delays and stuff here we go so the same thing, hybrid picking style. Sorry, but you should get the idea. Okay, let's do some uh, single lines. I'm just going to make some stuff up. Okay, with the thumb pick. I'm just playing on the neck pickup straight into an amp, no delay or anything like that. Um, didn't want to muddy the waters. Didn't want to muddy waters. Just kidding. Um, anyway, here we go. By the way, check out the Patreon. Heaps of rockabilly stuff, heaps of finger picking stuff, some swing stuff coming up now, and a whole bunch of psychobilly stuff. It's all relevant, all those styles. So if you're into all that stuff, check out the Patreon. Anyway, on with this. So, single line stuff, uh, let's just play some lines in A major, okay. <laughs> to the, the flat pick. Okay, there you go. Um, so, I have some very direct and honest thoughts about this anyway. They are different. They have a different feel. If I use the flat pick playing the Chet stuff, I feel like the bass notes tighten up a little bit. They feel more connected to the melody, but not in a good way, kind of um, more chained to them. Okay, I like the, the freedom of using a thumb pick and picking the melodies, and I just play in a more fluid fashion and more fluently, and I, I, I feel the bass line has a slight more independence, which makes sense, because when you're using the thumb pick, your, your arm doesn't have to work with your fingers because your thumb obviously can have that independent movement. When I use a flat pick, I feel like that bass movement will affect your whole your whole arm kind of has to work. Um, 
You know, you watch Greg Koch, the guy that does the Wildwood videos, Koch, whatever you say. And you can see that kind of whole, the knuckles kind of move. That that rigidity there, um, I feel like that affects the, the feel. I'm talking in the slightest way. That's not at all a criticism. I like playing both. There are times when I want to be hybrid picking um, because I want to rip into solos using the flat pick, okay? But I do feel like there's a slight difference. The thumb pick just loosens things up, and I'm sure a lot of guys will agree. If you disagree, let me know. Um, I won't be upset. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, in regards to single line playing, I simply play different when I'm using a thumb pick versus when I'm using a flat pick. Even those banjo-type rolls, I can do them with a flat pick, but I prefer to do them with a thumb pick. They're, again, they're a little bit more fluid. But if I'm going to play jazzy-type lines, I love the, the, a regular pick. I'm always going to play in a more fluid, sing, very strictly single line fashion. If I'm playing a lot of chromatics and beboppy stuff, I want to use a flat pick. Um, but interestingly, I feel like I'm probably a little bit more creative and original when I do that stuff with a thumb pick, even if I am playing something that might be, you know, a little bit on the more interesting side because it forces me to actually grab across the strings and and play in a more multi-tonal way if that makes sense so they're my thoughts they're the things that i think um you know separate the two and the things that i find what do you guys think my final final thing which i hope you stuck around for just practice both if you like the sound of them Practice both and get good at both, okay? Because if you do that, you, you, you're, you've got more options. Now, if you don't have time and, and you, you know, maybe pick one and dedicate yourself, and then once you get to a certain point, that's going to stay with you forever. So jump across and work on your thumb picking for a while. You know, you might get a bit rusty on your flat picking, but you can always brush back up and it's a process of going back and forth. I do it all the time with styles, techniques, everything. I'll focus on something, get rough somewhere else, come back. It's a lifetime thing, you know, I've been playing since I was seven, I'm 33, and uh, I'm probably gonna be playing for another 20, however many, however many years that is. Thanks for watching guys, check out the Patreon. Um, did you enjoy this video? Do you like the casual format? I'll make more videos like this in between the edited ones. See you later.